Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your meteorologist, Carter Hass, reporting for NDNWS. So we do have some updates, and I know, sadly, some of my predictions were incorrect. I'm just going to apologize in advance. The radar has been very fluctuating lately, especially with this storm, and I'm sorry about that. That's my prediction, radar's inconvenience, but we're going to try as best as we can to fit with that, and the RAP radar, I'm not going to try and explain that to you. Let's just say it gives really good updates. It's finally in time range, which means it can finally predict in time range with the storm, and it looks like my cat Silver has decided to join us today, so. Oh, you don't want to be on camera? I thought you were like a camera nerd. Okay, well anyways, really what we're seeing is um, again a downtrend in temperatures, <clears throat> but the reason why we're not seeing much snow in the Valley City, Jamestown, Fargo area is because of temperature and storm time difference, I would say. Uh, we see that rain pushing on Wednesday. We were right about that. Now Thursday, at the end of Thursday, that track was kind of off. Now we're seeing that snow kind of begin at the end of Thursday, and you really, like the camera, don't you, Silver? And um, on Thursday, that's gonna kind of push its way in. And then towards the uh, 12, 11 o'clock time, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. time on Friday, we'll see that snow exit. Now there's gonna be a lot of wind with this, but where we live, it's gonna be a trace to four inches. Now, a trace to four as in like four inches, or you're gonna see a little bit of snow. And then when you get farther up north where, the, where it's really cold up there, and the storm is more prolonged because this low pressure system is really circulating and staying in that area for a long time. We're gonna see 10 inches, that kind of area of um, range when it comes to snow and inches and all that good stuff. If this table s topples on me, Silver, you're gonna be punished, <sighs> honestly. Anyways, so with that, then it kind of ends. We were seeing that on Saturday, there was going to be some kind of uh, they call it an Alberta Clipper, is what it's known as, because it comes from Alberta, and it's a Clipper kind of storm. And um, they said that it was going to be very big. I tracked it. It showed on radar that it was going to be, but then radar changed and showed that it's not going to be like that. So we're, what we're really seeing with that storm is the wind, the wind threat is very, very low, and we're just seeing some flakes move their way in. And it really has dissipated and gotten weaker over time. Uh, this low pressure system will affect northern areas. So if you're up, if you're way up north by the Canadian border, Langdon, or in Minnesota, you know, be prepared for a blizzard, winter storms. But if you're down where we are, I'm downgrading this to a winter weather alert, not to an emergency winter weather alert. So this is not too much to be worried about. This uh, worried about. This isn't that kind of storm that we really need to be like, hey, you know, don't. Th you need to be ready for this. So I apologize. You know stuff got off but we at least have a good track and we're ready for it now uh yet the storm isn't going to be as bad as we presumed so don't expect to go snowmobiling and once again no yellow snow i know Su such a shame so yeah other than that thank you all for watching have a great night and i'm your meteorologist carter house reporting on wednesday adios